Hey gang, Eugene here again with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how to add a printer profile. So what is a printer profile? It is a translation specifically for that printer saying, here is this specific color and let me translate it into this language for this printer so that your colors match up as closely as possible along multiple printers, but also what you see on your screen. So printer profiles are super, super important to get accurate color. So in this situation, we are going to download the printer profile for the DNP DS40. We're gonna to go to Darkroom or to DNP's website, hover over support, and then click downloads. And then we're gonna click download files and agree. And this would be the same for any printer. You would just go to their website, download their latest profile, or if you have a custom profile that you've had made, then the, it's been emailed over to you. So, and we're gonna scroll down, and here is current profiles for RX and DS series printers. And we'll go ahead and save it. Click on downloads, open that folder, and double click on it. And here is the profile for the DS40. And just for fun, we'll go ahead and add all three of them. So double click on it, double click on it, and double click on it. So they automatically install into the correct folder. It's that easy. But for those that are a little bit dorky like me and like to know everything about everything, this is the folder that they actually install to. It's in system uh, Windows, System32, Spool, Drivers, and in Color. That is not important, but just so you know. So we'll go ahead and close those and uh, go back to Darkroom. And now when we go to our Setup tab, Printer Options, let's double click on that DS40, go to Color. If we click Browse, we can now browse to that updated profile from 2014 and you can see we're using an older profile there click OK and it's now updated with the latest profile that is how you would add a printer profile or custom printer profile to Darkroom Core Pro and it is identical for Booth with the exception of going to your setup tab instead you would go to your global settings and then printer options and everything should match up exactly the same way. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.